Okay. Uh, sorry. We're gonna pick up where we left off last time, so we're gonna go try to help her, I guess, get her grandson back, potentially. And then we'll try to open up the arena. Turn in um, Ether, and then probably try to go get uh, Poseidon, but I feel like, yeah. Alright. We have a lot on the to-do list and not that much time, so we're going to just try to hurry up. I say not much time because I unfortunately have to go to work. <laughs> so we're gonna do what we can. Yeah, I didn't see anything. I miss you. Yeah, I did. Oops. I'm gonna make sure we're straight. I should you probably come out. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Aloy, <laughs> the outpost is just over there. Are you ready? Actually, I've already cleared that outpost, but... I didn't see any prisoner. Really? Perhaps she was moved somewhere else before you got there. This prisoner Nakala. She's the only lead I have. Well, maybe I can pick up her trail. Let's go take a look. It's awkward because I already cleared it. <laughs> Probably, most likely off stream. I'm just gonna pick up stuff on the way. <laughs> Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. As you can see, I just cleared it. Never looted it. There. That's the post. Oh, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they There's go? Rope. Just enough to bind someone. Blood. From the rebels or Nakala? Blood's dried. Someone was wounded here a while ago. But not fatally. Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nicola. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? Rebels had me strung up. 
They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cabo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet! Mm. We have to find Denial. him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. We'll see you there. I feel like we're what about you? Of this. That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. No, oh, don't worry about me. I'll report into the grove. Where do you want me to go now? Oh my god. Mm, we're off to go in hard quotations rescue this man, but I feel like he's made his, his path pretty clear. Come on! Come on! Shit! You keep running, I jump on you, we keep rolling. Come on! Okay. Ah, dang. Got me running into machines and stuff. Come on, my god. Oh, chill out. An outpost. Guess this marks the start of lowland territory. I could resupply before moving on. You can tell me one of the tales? Come on. What? There's been reports of rebel outposts all over the jungle. Mm -hmm. A few set up camp just west of here. Nice. A whole squad's hiding out in the south. They've even managed to take over an area southwest of here, mm -hmm. where the jungle narrows. Those traitors don't know when to give up. And our squads are at their limit. We could really use the help of a proven champion. I'll see what I can do. Sorry, I was distracted by the fighting in the back. That man on the right side was about to throw hands, and she had a weapon. Like, he was ready to just throw hands. <laughs> Rod hands to a weapon fight. Dummy, 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 dummy. Hmm. Oh, I feel like I'm taking the, cause I am. Feeling exposed out here. Got the cover of the jungle. Sorry, girlfriend. That's just the way it is. What is that? Acid won't do much here. You ain't see nothing. You ain't see nothing. <clears throat> Edge. Like I should be waiting for me in there. <sighs> Let my mouth go. Find
Okay, that's cool. I'm telling the truth. Listen to him. Decca, <laughs> what's going on? <clears throat> Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Oroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. Facts. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? <clears throat> they were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed mm. your clan. Your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaro. Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the Desert and Sky clans. We stand behind him without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaro's support from the lowland clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the rebels, I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? <clears throat> so when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. I'll kill myself. Then I invoke off. blood for blood. <clears throat> I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. <clears throat> i explore this place a little better upon... Uh... Good day. Yeah, good day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I dilly do. Ooh, piece of candy. <sighs> Realizing the I'm running. The Cavo mentioned should be nearby. Taking so long. Hey, chill out! So chill the ahead. fuck out. Rebels. Friends of Cavos? Gonna have to take them out to get to that campfire. Oh shit. Um
Show me your path. Should we go and check? No, our orders were clear. We hold this position until they arrive. I feel like he's luring us into a trap, but I also feel like he's being set up because I feel like they would know. No, wait. Didn't he say they're all clear? They're supposed to be posted right here. I need a rock. Right here. <laughs> Tee hee. No sign of me. I think that sucks. Clear. Movement. There. Here. What? False alarm. Call it off. No, come here. What's the word? Come this way. Any sign of the enemy? <gasps> yeah, I'm right here. Waiting to ambush whoever showed up. Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Aroke. a break from this heat. Waiting. Jesus, he just started spinning them off. God dang. Board. Oh. Oh. Now you give me. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start throwing rocks. Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! 
Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, are okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Oh, for your sake and your life, you're not lying to me. Up this way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. Uh, you might be, but I'm, I'm the definitely going to survive. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. I don't know why I did that, just because I guess, uh, just curious. Where is everyone? No rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there. If that thing runs through Falls Edge, the village stands no chance. Then we stop them. Right here. On your lead, Aloy. Nothing will stand in our way now! Grab your gear. We march on Falls Edge. Can you duck? We're, we're trying to be sneaky, you know? I'm gonna hide in the bushes. Oh my lord, baby Jesus. We're about to get got because of you. Look at you standing up, telling him where to sniff. My guy. It's easy. Crouch. Crouch. Can I override you? Just out of curiosity. Nope. Alright. You left them right here! Right on! Okay. Okay.
lie still under swamps tonight. <laughs> We did it. You're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning, you saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Deca know what happened. I'm sweating everywhere. May your blade be bright. Okay, mm excuse me, sorry. Awesome. Three leave, only you return? What happened? 
Cabo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cabo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Ball's Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cabo. This one, damn it. Mm. Where's this? Hmm. Whirled around by the wind. Great. Just like Kala said, gonna have to take it down. Hmm. 
machine looks like it could flatten boulders, trees. B. <laughs> That's so quite anyway. Fire will make things easier. Hmm. Cause he's gonna be a problem. What am I doing? to salvage that sinew.
there. I should get back to Kala. Hand over the parts. Honor and strength. Your enemy is mine. Are you? Aloy, maybe you won some from hunting grounds. But if you want to turn in the parts, we need to open the arena. You'll have to talk to Kala. Well, I guess safe trap. I've got the parts you need for the ballista. Excellent. We'll get it fixed up right away, and then the arena will be ready. You're welcome to fight any time. How does it work? Simply speak to me, and I'll arrange a challenge for you. And any medals you win from fighting, you can exchange with me for some of the tribe's very best equipment. Mm. Not just from the arena, but also medals won at hunting grounds. Yeah. After upgrading your gear, I think you'll come to favor me over Kala. I'm here to help train our squads. Is that a popularity contest? Good thing for you. I'll take my leave then. Come talk to me if you win or if you have soldiers' tags to turn in. Well then, if you'd like to fight in the arena now, we can set it up in no time. I'll come back later. Whenever you want. Didn't take long to open the god dang arena. What can I do for you, Aloy? I found some of the tags you mentioned before. Good. The squad mates and families of the deceased will be grateful. You're worth a dozen squads put together, my friend. Oh, and I have this for you. I hope it helps. I think this is what I've... Okay. Okay. Earn more medals and the. Thank I need you. To get going. Of course. Good luck. I'm going to turn that in. People are running outside. Oh. What do you want Better from me? Ready yourself. Larry. Oh my god.
trying to look in all. Oh wow. They can only put on. Oh. Do I have to kill all of them in two minutes? I was that. looking forward to seeing Give me something to do off stream. Show me on the map. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Show me on the map. Not going that far. Wait a second. Hold on. You didn't show me on the map. Okay. God, all of these. Oh my goodness. I did all of those, did all those. Let's go turn this one in. Take it to the melee. I will be playing some strike and doing some arena challenges. Off cam. doing in here yeah, like this oh uh, you're not waving a hammer around Aaron try a gentler touch and yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle okay bring it back trace the line to your right other right I just saw it the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Mm-hmm. Training and quotations. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you sure that's what the data says? I'm telling you, it's a drink, but it's soft. How is it soft? Oh, talking about oh, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, 
we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. That's what I want to know, how they fix the arena so fast. For fulfilling their... She's like, oh, we'll get it fixed right away. I literally tur get out of the freaking dialogue box and they're like already fighting in the fucking arena and I just don't understand. Duty. For a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora Warchief could have so much in common. Took them all of two seconds. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Mostly. Mm -hmm. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine <laughs> that my ancestors were trapped. It's just kind of silly without the knowledge that they fixed it in like thanks to Ted Farrow. Two seconds yeah. less than that, probably. But, you know, he had the point. They were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. I literally really blinked and they were like, aha, it's ready. They much more than kids. <laughs> and they Here's all these an challenges. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. Mm -hmm. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. Let's find out here. How's no. everyone handling? And we all, but I'm hope. Think you can hold the fort? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we'll be fine. All right, let me talk to her. Varl huh? looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Mm-hmm. You've spoken with Catalo? A few words. Tanakhs don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Mm -hmm. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. Mm -hmm. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this yeah. case, a very loud friend. She's not wrong. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. Mm-hmm. Have fun, boo. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. All of it. And he's drinking, of course. Oh, I thought he was. Never hey. Mind. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. 
There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osram. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. Mm. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue tied. You know, I don't know it. What makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend? Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. What is she doing? I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundale. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. <laughs> yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I discovered an Osram militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus. It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. They're familiar with ancient tech, and they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. Mm -hmm. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asuram trying to wipe out the Karja with, with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. And they have focuses, too. Well, that's just great. <laughs> I found out who's running them. A woman named Asera. Does that ring any bells? Oh, no. Remember how Durval had a band of freebooters that retaliated against the Karja? She was one of them. First female tinker in the claim to run her own forge. But when her family got killed in the Red Rates, she went bad. Real bad. I thought she was dead, though. Taken out by one of Marad's guys. Well, she's not. And she wants revenge against the Karja. We have to find out where she's operating from, and stop her. Uh, way back, when we first met, you came looking for me in Meridian because you detected Olin's focus with yours, right? And there's a chance Sarah's getting some of her supplies from the claim. The only way she'd get those is if her lackeys smuggled them through barren light. Well, their focuses would make it easier for them to evade guards and patrols. But if I'm there waiting for them, you could scan for their focuses, pick them out from the crowd. If an Osram's wearing one of these, they'd have to be a part of that Prometheus group. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I've been known to have those once in a while. All right, I'll keep tracking her people out west. You let me know if you find anything in Baron Light. We'll find her. We have to. It's thugs like her who murder my sister. Hmm. You should know. Silence is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. He's the one who gave him the override tech to begin with. Why doesn't that surprise me? That's probably all part of some master plan, huh? At least we know we're good at wrecking those. Damn straight. And let me know if you find any Sons of Prometheus in Baron Light. I will. Don't worry. The old ones use holograms for everything. Let them experience a great many things. 
holograms are illusions, though. I wonder if at some point... So the Ten carried their visions with them. Like I got comb head. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place. Gaia. And gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything. But all I really need to know is where to train, and when to fight. Yeah. Welcome to the team, then. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were Sorry, part of the back story. Clan. Personal reason. Yes. <laughs> That's all you're gonna tell me? <laughs> Fine. Okay. As you wish. May I have a few words? My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero. And I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command. Even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom, and the awe it must have inspired. 
What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove, and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the light? Huh. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. Last You've had, had some time life. with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. Hey. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Mm-hmm. I all should right, go. thank you. Feel free to check in on Hakaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the Ten walk with you. And with you, my kind sir. All right. Gaia. I got the thing for you. Gaia. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge ether with me. Ooh. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Of course you do. You've wasted too much time. <laughs> so, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Right. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades mm -hmm. Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. 
However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Check it out when I can. Oh. I don't think that's what she unlocked. He's in there, I know about that. That looks like one of the Ataru's land gods. Like the one we killed in the sacred cave. Damn it. I'm not sure I'll ever fully understand, but seeing something that represents life and prosperity turned into a weapon. It couldn't have been easy for Zo. It's a shuttle. Like the one I blew up at Farzina's launch facility. Varl seemed pretty interested in space travel. I guess he wanted a keepsake. Now oh, the showers. Huh. The doors All unlocked the now. toilets. <laughs> Looks like Arendt and Catalo moved their stuff in. Okay, I see what we're doing here. They're getting all their own little rooms. That's cute. Roomies. Alright, that's cool. Alright. Alright, everybody, let's do this. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Yeah. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Unless it's bad. Unless it's bad. <laughs> hey, we're climbing the mountain. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, 
vermin. What is that? Ballista. What the hell? Oh, that actually hurt her. Takes the keg. <laughs> I don't think she's expecting that to actually kill her. Burl, see if there's anything over there. On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. What the hell is that? Oh, skin's cracking from the cold. Whatever the rebels did. It took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but... I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It what? looked like she can make it Hello, come Verbena? again at will. What do you have for me? But it's gone now. I checked everywhere. Still no ah. sign of the asset. Well, go do your can thing. Can we call off this pointless search here. already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. The Spectre had instructions to... assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? One of the sons of Prometheus. The ones working for silence. Looks like his focus was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. To wherever silence is hiding out, probably. Ah, ah, my weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. All right, I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zenith to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. 
Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. It's a long way down. Something mm. tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that. A console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. So, then why were the Zeniths still searching for the asset? Ruined. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ectogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Yeah. This place keeps on going. We better check in that room. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. 
Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, how is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. There's a lot of rooms in here. I don't think so. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Thank God, so I'm familiar. It's kind of familiar. We go through here. Oh, we jump over that. We jump down here. The control console. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Two hundred and thirty-six? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Hundred and thirty six containers in storage. Hold the phone. <gasps> oh, it's me. Aloy. Yep. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? They're controlling her. Hello, Elizabeth. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, 
My name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least they don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's dead. still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. <laughs> Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. Gosh, she's dead. I know I what you want. Her before the specter gets here. How? I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. What you want me to do? It's literally going to just kill me. Here it comes! The wire won't work there. Why not? Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Okay. Okay. You said to get ready for a I battle. Scan that thing. See if it has any weak spots. <sighs> that thing's quick. Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Prepare for a battle you're not prepared for. Check. Let me out of here. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. Just hope Aaron stays in cover. If Aaron dies, I'm not gonna be too happy. Aloy! Ah! Aaron! Dude. Have a spectre stuck its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry! What did I tell you? Oh my god, if he dies, I'm gonna be dead. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Erend. I'm running! And Erend, I'm here! Watch out! That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. For the second you need me, I'm what? there. Okay. Oh, Spectre's not budging from that spot. 
I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. I need to sneak around behind it. It'll be a tough fight if I take that thing head on. Shields down! It's on the move! Hit the weak spot! Ah, uh, let's get into this! You ass corroded! Hey, boy, get out of there! Take this and take him down! Okay, my guy, can I stand up before you start spamming all the bullshit? That's the quick way to take it down. Well, good morning. Or good afternoon. <laughs> Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two, go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all. No. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it. Erend? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. I have to get going. Don't go causing. Mm. Aloy, glad yeah. you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, 
Aloy? I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? No. How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. <laughs> so we're dealing with the same Far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast. I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? 
All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. <laughs> How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in a biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But they she was the asset. How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Huh. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... just out of reach... must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zeniths? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! Hmm. You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. They're gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. Yeah. How'd it go? Her How'd injury's think? not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. 
Hmm. Good luck with that. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. You left the door open, Barl. guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core, ostensibly this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Tyler. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. <laughs> However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub-functions to get. Pam, It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. <laughs> Aloy. Hey, thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us. Uh -uh. Huh? A little. Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them, so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines hmm. similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, there are more supplies in the ch chest. Help yourself. More. Oh, y'all just spoil me. All right. Okay. 
Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. The old one set off by itself is a little too much for my liking. Some of the maids more like these car called themselves. <laughs> Wrong way. From what I'm reading, all the old ones wanted to eat was this stuff called chocolate. Hey, chocolate. Why am I lost? Oh, that's why. I always get confused in that goddamn room. I can feel the Walk. Last thing I need is a machine stomping around in there. Camping gear. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. So close oh, to drowning, maybe not not to the embers, M Morland. It's over. Well, not for me. It's not. Then you're going to die alone, because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate. Hung in the balance, would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> hey. Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um, <gasps> well, you're not typical Delvers, that's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. <laughs> She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. I think I'm about to get oh, something um, I've been wanting for a while. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? <laughs> Don't mind him. You jelly. It's okay. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... Ah... <clears throat> uh, Morland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. 
Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. Okay. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Got the compressed air capsule. Now, to get all the machine parts. I thought we were finally going to get away from this should be south of here. Wow. I should just get This is where Moreland said the hood would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. <laughs> there. Tracks should lead me to the herd. No, I'm sorry, friend. I 
I am so sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Uh oh. Oh, the storm's whipped up a sand spiral. Great. Check if one of these machines has an intact membrane. One synthetic membrane. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. I'll get back to orbit. Ah, skin stings from all the sand. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. Here. I think a diving, diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. If it works, you'll let me try it? There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. Mm-hmm. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. Mm -hmm. Or detected. But suddenly, the dancing lights around us changed. Lights? What do you mean? Images in the air, sparked by the embers, the salvage I'm after. Tiny hologram projectors? At first, there were lots of images. Women and, and coins and foodstuffs. Vegas. And then, suddenly, they turned nautical. Waves. Fish. There was this flash of red. And the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light. From a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. <sighs> or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. Okay, time to see if this thing works. Well, so good. I can actually leap down here. Oh. 
Morgan mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Vegas. Vegas. A start. It started right here, more than thirty years ago, back when this casino was still called the Temple. Mm -hmm. One big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hell ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Can I hold on? and drain all the water. I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. Machines down here. I'll have to swim around them. Stick to cover. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. Machine doesn't like fire. Okay. I hope you can't see me. I'm trying my best to hide in this uh, kelp here. Ooh. 
Hello? There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Where's my friend? According to the map, the second node should be on the other side of the hill. Could be a shock enemy against that machine. Get me to the second node. Gabe, thank you. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains have been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, too. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. Okay, I've 
have taken care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency card to the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. later. You can tough out the cold. Glass won't help. There's red light in that tower. Just like at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. But how to get in? Part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Oh, I heard ya. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find the console to activate the emergency purge. Should be a console in here. There. Time to dry this place out. Oh, there goes cars. I did it! <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. I guess the purge didn't get rid of all of the water. System shut down, so almost done. Stanley Chen was one of them. The Zenith. But he did so much for this place. He. It doesn't sound like the others. A 
That's as clean as I'm gonna get out here. left these machines behind. I could sneak by them. Deal with a big one first. Oh, snap moss. I can get them on my side now that the override's fixed. You? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, yep. but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Like shame on motion again. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. If the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. Get your ass back here.
You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little reverend. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Call her if you need us. Thanks. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond the store. Time to bring it home. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master on the right. Restoring the sign subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. I tried. System reboot initiated. It looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Worland and crew must have headed back up top. With all the embers they could carry, I bet. Oops. An elevator. Moron must have built this before the place flooded. This will work. Be nice not to have to climb back up.
whatever you did. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. oh, the show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. <laughs> His dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the Embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget. Games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs> this delve was a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osram camp first, see if Talana made it. With my new diving mask. I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. Anything else, Aloy? No. Got it, thanks. Boo. I definitely want to turn this in first and we'll just come back. So I gotta leave here soon. So I'll stream again. Hopefully soon. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> so tight. <laughs> Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Yeah, I did. As fast as I could. No exploring, sadly. Stairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. Beta can kill. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. No, it's what's on your mind. You seem like you got some new stuff you want to tell me about. My progress. Yeah, how are we doing? Never mind. See you later. Until next time. Yeah, oh, we're not gonna talk about that. I'm not talking about her. What you want? Somebody wanted something. Um, nah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah, usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. Oh, she wants to talk to me and talk shit. Let's go. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! 
Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. I remember that one. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Okay, um, yeah. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you. I don't have time. For house on a cliff. Then later right she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things. I don't. Okay. I thought of every possible she reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know like what it is. Preteen, when I, I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. All that just to have her have a mental breakdown and be like, she's not gonna have it. She's not gonna have it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Jesus. That was a pointless conversation. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. This one now. I can do that one now. Do that one. Do that one. 
I can do that one now. Interesting. Do, working on that one. Need to find the last group. Those are done. Those are done. Do that off. Mm, those can be done. That still can't be done. Yeah, my path's still blocked. That can be done. Alright. Got some stuff to do, that's all I'm seeing. Got a lot of stuff to do. Very little time to do it. So on that note, thank you. I will catch y'all next time. I don't know when next time will be, but just thank you. Okay, have a good day. Bye.